Hi, what's up, y'all? It's poppin' It's D about to react to this bed by Lovely TTV. It's titled Jeezy Goes Off on Jeannie for Lying. Cardi B and Offset unfollow each other and also Boozy. Okay, uh, let, let's see what's going on with these people. Let's watch. Hookups, a possible pregnancy announcement, some possible breakups, yeah, and for sure a divorce, okay? So let's go ahead and get into though. it. Make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So what's going down is this. Let's go ahead and start with the situation that's going on right now with Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. We are starting to get more tea on their situation. So basically the other day, Jeannie went on the Jennifer Hudson show and she claims that she learned about Jeezy filing for a divorce at the same time as us, the rest of the world, you know, learned. So when we found out about it is allegedly when she found out about it. And she said she was hurt. She was gutted. She was shocked. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It's oh, starting to get publicity. The last time you were here, some unexpected news. Why y'all keep talking about this? I was going through uh, things and marriage ended in divorce and it was kind of hard. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I'm dealing with day by day, you know. And how are you doing now? Um, well, I'm doing, I think I'm doing better now. You know, I think, um, at the time when I found out, you know, at the same time as the rest of the world that my marriage was ending in divorce, I was gutted. So yeah, today it's about picking up the pieces. It's about discovering me mm -hmm. and being a mom to the best blessing in my life. My little girl. Unless he's spilling some tea, I'm going off on here. I also met the strongest version. Of I love how you said that. That's gonna empower so many. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Now, how is your beautiful baby doing? Oh my God, Monaco is everything. <laughs> She's everything. She's so cute. She is She's adorable. She's just my whole world. I I think, you know, we're 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 present and we're alive right now. But I think every parent can tell you that when you have a baby, this? you get a chance to be born again. This entire world has become a whole different place to me with different colors and sights and sounds because of Monaco. So reliving my life and reparenting myself through... Living through your child, living vicariously through your child. Mm. Listen, <laughs> people be having kids these days for the most fucked up reasons. What a, my opinion. But I, I think that's a weird statement, but that's just me. But girl, let's move on. Wow. That yeah. is very so oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are you teaching her Vietnamese? I am. I'm teaching her Vietnamese. So she speaks English and Vietnamese. And I mean, she pretty much understands everything. Baby Vietnamese, talk her. So cool. That's how I learned to speak. I had to speak it fully at home. And then when you go to school, you'll learn English like that. Um, but now she's starting to mix Vietnamese. Like she popped out the other day saying, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and how old is she? She's 23 months. <laughs> so I'm going to that up before she goes to school, folks. I'm going to get that together. Where's the money from? That's the question. I'm pretty sure we know which side of the family was, though. I said that. All right, honey. I, so y'all just I could have sworn head. she just had this goddamn baby. Her baby almost two. Just say your baby almost two, 23 months. That's the extra. Same. So all of a sudden, maybe two what hours after that interview went viral, Jeezy's oh. can't release a statement. They're like, hold up now, not so fast. You're not going to do that. So Jeezy is basically saying that Jeannie knew that the voice was coming and that they were in marriage counseling. So this is what's being reported. Jeannie Mai claims that she found out about her divorce from Jeezy like the rest of the world, mm. which couldn't be any further from the truth, at least from her estranged husband's point of view. Sources close to the couple tell TMZ that, that Jeannie being blindsided by the divorce filing is absolutely false because there were clear signs of their uncoupling long established and manifested right before their eyes. We're told that the couple oh serially goodness, engaged in marriage counseling with multiple therapists before Jeezy came to the realization that the relationship was irretrievably broken. No matter who the professional was, it seems like Jeezy walked away with the same answer clearly. It would appear that he felt like the writing was on the wall and that Jeannie's suggestion came out of nowhere and is disingenuous. Jeezy hasn't highlighted an exact reason for the split, but he has maintained that he felt in his gut that it was best to walk away since filing for divorce back in September. Oh, cool. So that is what Jeezy's people are saying. Um, at this point, you know, again, like I always say, I don't revel in people's divorce. Divorce is not easy. That is the death of a relationship, especially when children are involved, which is really sad. But I just think, you know, something happened there on either side that just couldn't be fixed. And, you know, Please at this point, it is what it is. All they can do is just move forward and take care of their beautiful baby. But she also needs to remember how she treated her ex. You know, sometimes how you treat people can come back on you as well. Remember, she was with her ex-husband for years. He wanted a child for so long, and she claimed she wasn't ready, and she didn't want a baby by her ex-husband. But then she meets Mr. Darkmeat, and all of a sudden, you know, within a year, they're engaged, she's pregnant, she's having a baby, you know, they get married, and it was just a whirlwind. Whereas the person she was with for years, she just, you know, felt no need. And her ex-husband was clearly hurt, because if you guys remember, he took to social media when somebody had added him. Oh. So um, somebody wrote her first husband is probably biting bricks and screaming right now. And he ends up replying back, and he says... I upgraded from trash to treasure a long time ago. Ooh. Best decision I ever made. Ooh. Congratulations. Being truly happy is an awesome feeling. Love my little family. 
Then he also replies back to somebody else and says, still don't give a shit. Okay, it's giving press because I, I could fucking never. I, I don't know why you felt the need to even comment. Did they even at you, brother? It don't look like they even added you. Maybe somebody in the replies added him, but it's easy to ignore that. So the fact that you felt the need to respond and then trash this woman, some of you upgraded from trash to treasure, is giving press. So, you know, basically he was over it. He was with this woman for years. She never wanted to have a family with him or really truly invest in him. But, but then she meets this rapper who has way more of a net worth than he did. And all of a sudden, honey, here comes marriage and a baby carriage, okay? So you got to watch how you treat folks. And it seems like Jeezy gave her the same treatment that she kind of gave her ex-husband. You know, the whole situation is unfortunate. But like I said, the most important part is that baby. And hopefully you know, they'll be able to co-parent and do what they have to do. But, you know, until they both speak about what exactly happened, it's anybody's guess at this point in time. But I wish them both the best, you know, because like I said, I don't wish divorce on anybody. That is not an easy thing to go through. So now in other news, That's what's also going on out in these streets is that basically Ashanti and Nelly no, were trending yesterday, and neither one of them has spoke on it, but... Ashanti was seen rubbing her belly. Meth. And Nelly was also seen rubbing her belly. What the fuck? Shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, our allegations. So he hasn't been seen too favorably in the media in the past few years, but she has. So I just really hope he has changed and he's changed for the better. You know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, she's too old to be out here trying to be a single mother, a baby mama, where's the ring? Oh, oh, you know, hopefully this will work. Um, but, okay. This whole situation is crazy. It kind of came out of left field. Lame. But there are rumors swirling around the internet that Cardi B and Offset may not be together anymore. And I don't know what's going on. I have not spoken to her, but this shocked the hell out of me today, honey. You know, I, I seen this and I was like, yikes! Wasn't expecting this, but if you go onto Instagram, Offset and Cardi B are no longer following each other. And you guys know in social media world, okay, a follow is a big deal, especially between a husband and wife. And for a husband and wife to not follow each other on social media, that says a lot. I know I'm it sounds so official, but it really is a big deal on social media, okay? So just follow me here. So now basically, Cardi also took the social media and she said the following in her Instagram story. She says, you know when you just outgrow relationships, I'm tired of protecting people's feelings. I got to put myself first. I gotta put me so that is what Cardi wrote. And if you guys remember this year, there was a little bit of trouble in paradise where Offset took to social media and he basically claimed that Cardi B might have cheated on him. And she came back and, you know, she denied it. And they kind of went back and forth for a while. But then they kissed and made up, and they ended up dropping their music video. Um, So, I don't know. I hope everything works out for them. At the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. And if you're not happy in your current relationship, you you have to make moves. You know what I'm saying? You only have one life to live, and it makes no sense being in something for other people. You have to be in it, male or female, for yourself. You have to make each other happy. But one thing that people also need to understand is that marriage is not easy. There's going to be ups and downs, peaks and valleys. You know what I'm saying? You have to put in the work. And if one partner is putting in all the work and the other person is not taking it seriously, that is a recipe for disaster. So the biggest thing that I can tell y'all when it comes to relationships is communication, communication, communication. Relationships are not easy, but, you know, they eventually when you find the right person, you'll know it. I wish them both the best. Hopefully this is just some temporary steam, so but we'll have to wait and see how this <laughs> plays out. So now in other I news, speaking about my situation, um, this other general. person is also trending as well. If you guys do not know, Lil Boosie is trending. Because he came out the other day and basically let the world know that his daughter, I think her name is like Crispy Black or something like that, Ooh. Sexy Black, something black. Um, Crispy she's basically Black is She has wild. a boyfriend. And, you know, Boosie's happy for her. You know, he's like, okay, my daughter got a boyfriend. And then he says, you know, you can cheat on her, but don't beat on her. And so this went viral. People were really upset. Like, you know, why would you tell your daughter to stay with a cheater? You know, why are you condoning this? You're such a horrible dad. So Boosie ended up coming back and he went off and he basically explained himself. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip of little Boosie talking about the situation with his daughter. You can cheat on him, but don't beat on him. My daughter just takes me. She got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't give her. That's so Love weird. Her. I don't give a f- what you do. Boosie. Don't just don't give her. You can cheat on her, I don't give a damn, whatever. That's so Just weird. He is a weirdo. Oh my God, wipe your lip. I can't stand this man. He's just weird. My daughter love me, bro. See my Do daughter? They? A daughter and a daddy, bro, that's different, bro. Like mom and a son. Like mom and a son, bro. A daughter and a daddy. I'm weak for my daughter. That's why my nigga, baby, I want sons. But man, my daughter's Bro, everybody talking about the cheat on the beat on the thing or whatever. <coughs> uh, I'm not the type of daddy gonna get my my daughter's relationships about about no cheating or nothing like that. But if you beat on it, then that's a different thing. That's my problem. A lot of y'all come in. Y'all ain't got no dad. 
Y'all ain't gonna call y'all daddy and tell him y'all got a boyfriend because y'all don't even care what y'all daddy say. Y'all don't have no respect for y'all daddy, and y'all don't think y'all daddy gonna protect y'all no way. Or his opinion don't mean shit no way, because he ain't shit. Me and my daughter, me and Pretty Black is thick as thieves. I talk to her about anything, she talked to me about anything. Is this the one who was so a lot of y'all commenting negative name? about my parenting and all that? I'm a damn good daddy, but damn good it's daddy, daddy first. Blur. My daddy would never. So a lot of y'all, y'all never had a father. Y'all ain't gonna call. All right, y'all just heard what little Boosie had to say. So he was How you just gonna assume snap. that people who was critiquing him, they they ain't got a daddy? That's so weird. And at all the folks who had something to say about his parenting. And I do understand what he's saying um, mm -hmm. in the initial post. He's basically saying that he knows as a man he wasn't shit. He cheated. He got multiple baby mamas out here, broken homes. Why would you put so that there's nothing there? he can do to really prevent a man from cheating on his daughter. Sure, but why even say that? That's just such a weird thing to mention. It's unnecessary. Like, what? I don't I don't care how niggas are trying to spin it. He's saying he won't get in a personal bit. Okay, we'll say that. I, and even to be like, oh, just don't hit her. It, that's also very strange. Listen, this is a new level of ratchetry that I don't understand. <laughs> so maybe this is like normal talk for some people. I don't fucking get it. But when I'm introducing boyfriends to my dad, he would never say anything that weird. And my daddy come from the streets, Okay. He would never say anything that strange. Yeah, just don't don't hit my daughter. It's like, what the fuck? Who was even talking about that? That's such, such a weird thing to say, A. And then B, oh, but you could cheat on her. But just don't beat it. Why even say that? That that's just such that's that's unnecessary. What are we talking about? I but hate everybody. But there's something he can definitely do if the man puts hands on his daughter. But a lot of guys do people things like so, that. Unfortunately, I hate the but I will say this. What am I doing okay? here? This is one thing I will say. I think as older people, you need to speak life into younger people. Don't just green light and condone them Thank cheating you. and acting like what? oh, it's no big deal. I'm oh, in cheat, whatever. I think speaking life and saying that no, I want a good man for my daughter. I want a man to treat my daughter like a princess. I want a man to treat Thank my daughter you. well. Sense. I think those should be things that he should Common be considering sense. in this new boy. You basically giving the boyfriend a pass. Oh, you could cheat on her, just don't hit her. So even if the boyfriend one thing about it, he like, oh shit, she daddy even saying is is good. All right, like that's just such a stupid thing to say. Where is the common fucking sense? Saying well, if you cheat, you cheat. You know what I'm saying? No big deal. But if you put hands on her, you know that's your ass. And I feel like he should be speaking more of the positive Thank into the situation you. and wanting this relationship what to flourish and grow like and be something is this? positive. Because so at the end of the day, you need to understand. That, yeah, cheating may not necessarily be physical, like beating on your daughter, but emotional, cheating can also lead terminal. to emotional abuse, and it can potentially open up to giving her an STD. And then on top of potential STDs, he could be out here having multiple outside kids on your daughter. <clears throat> Case in point, Exhibit A, Boosie. Ooh. Ooh. That's the one I need you. At this time that y'all start giving women a pat on the back, a clap, and stop degrading them. Me and Rajay just can't be around each other right now. It's a court order. So you, be, you know what? so you don't want your daughter to go through that. So I think that, you know, he should speak more life and positivity into this relationship than just being dismissive and saying, you know, if he cheats, he cheats, but he better not hit her. You know, and I, like I said, I get what he's saying, but okay. no, nah, we're not just going to leave it at that because cheating That's is not okay either. And that also is a form of emotional abuse Makes and gaslighting and things like that. And it can also tear down a woman's self-esteem when a man is constantly cheating on them as well. But at the end of the day, you'd be surprised at how many of y'all's daddies and uncles, okay, really think like this. So he's not saying anything I haven't heard before, child. So anyways, with that being and that same phrase is what I saw over and over again. This is what I was talking about in the other videos. <laughs> I went on a, a rant in the other video uh, that Impressive put up about Jeezy and, and Je Jeannie Mai. And I said, I'm so tired of people regurgitating the same phrases over and over again. This is another one of them. If you pay attention, you will see these same phrases as well, okay? If you look in the comments on the shade room, even hearing what Boozy just said, because he also saw the comments, of course, and then he started regurgitating that same phrase. I'm just saying I wouldn't get in a business. That's the same phrase I kept seeing over and over again. Oh, I get what he said, literally word for word. Go look in the shade room fucking comments. People are saying the same exact thing word for word. Are they bots? <laughs> Am I the sea of a bot? Anyway, everybody's saying, um, I get what he's trying to say that he won't get in his, his, uh, daughter's business. Those exact words over and over again. It's like, even if you actually thought that there is a way to say that and put it into your own words so that I know it's an original thought. 
But I know it's not an original thought. And I know you've seen this comment several other times and you're just regurgitating it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's, it's not the, the fact of the matter itself. Because maybe some people do feel like that. Like, oh, I, I, I understand what he's saying is that he doesn't want to interfere. See, this is another way of wording this if this was an original thought. He doesn't want to interfere with, you know, the drama of his his daughter's relationship. There are other ways to word it. People are using the same phrase. I get what he's saying. Y'all missing the point. He don't want to get in his daughter business. And then Boozy kept seeing those comments too. And look what the fuck he said. The same sentence. <laughs> oh, I'm going crazy, y'all. I'm really going crazy. This, this random fucking celebrity drama is just like... Uh, it's just so much stupidity. Like, why are people so stupid? Just what Boozy is even saying. You could cheat on her, but don't beat on her. Like, that's just so dumb. Why would you even say that? Who was talking about beating your daughter at all? <sighs> anyway, uh, that that was my rant, my tangent. <laughs> I, I think I'm done for the day. This is my last vid for the day. I'm going to log off and go um, spend time with people close to me. So... There's that. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.